Hey everyone, Crazy Grandpa Andy here. Today's show is about cannabis. Now it's a fair warning if you want to bail out right now, no problem. But it is really surprising to discover its use among those of us over 55. I'm also known as Andy Asher, editor over <laughs> Bloober Boober. What's most important now is we stay safe and we stay healthy. And my thoughts and prayers for anyone who has fallen ill. It is so stressful. Now, maybe we can even reduce anxiety with this fun and interesting show each week. Now, some programs are going to be live, while others will be like today's show. Now, I can't wait to start the game in my playroom uh, with my wing woman, Lisa Sini. Now, she is founder of Mosaic Design Studio. And a tiny bit more background. Personally, I love learning from people, and you might say in a passive way, uh, rather than just watching, let's say, a talking head tell me about something. Plus, video games have been so much fun for me and relaxing that when I am done, you know, I have new energy and I feel really good and upbeat, win or lose. Um, also, one other thing I want to say is that, you know, these games may look violent, but they really aren't. They're fun, they're humorous, there's a sense of comedy about them. And you can win whether you're an amateur or whether you're a ninja. So let's get started. And by the way, I love marmalade. So here we are. This is the staging area for the next game that's going to start here momentarily. Uh, this is Battle Royale. And uh, I got hooked on all these games about a year ago. And then uh, I just couldn't get off it. It was so much fun. And we'll talk about that. But it's a neat game. Battle Royale by Fortnite. It's one of the most popular, if not the most popular, game out there. So we're right here in the staging area. Now we can, uh, oh, now we were in the staging area. This happens to be the battle bus. We are uh, traveling in the battle bus to figure out where we want to land or where I want to land. There are a hundred of us there from around the world who are going to be playing in this particular game. And uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that, but I'm going to go ahead and bail out here and then uh, I'll be looking as, as we're flying down there for a good place to, uh, to land. And um, I like to go in the rural areas because it gives me a little bit more time to, to figure out my strategy that I want to play. Now, the good thing about this game is that you can be a ninja and you can just be blasting away and be fantastic. Or you can be like me. I'm more of a strategist. I get by, you know, I kind of try to figure things out and see how I can do. Because the bottom line in this game is you got to be the last person standing. So however you do it, you still win. All right. Now uh, the other thing is I want to, of course, uh, introduce you again to uh, my wing woman in today's game, and that's Lisa Sini. She's an internationally known, recognized uh, designer of senior living quarters, as I check how I'm doing down there. And uh, she's the founder of Mosaic Design Studios. And the amazing thing, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it, she has to know uh, what her customers want, right? So she did a study, and that's where this story today came from, that 83.5% uh, of uh, baby boomers, according to her study, and it, it had a degree of scientific accuracy. She went over that with me when I talked to her. 83.5% uh, of baby boomers uh, use cannabis in some form or another. All right. Uh, look, we've got we've landed here, and I think we'd better pay a little bit of attention to what we're doing. All right. Now, first of all, what we want to do is we uh, uh, need to get uh, building material. Okay. We use building material for a lot of different things, but uh, one of them is uh, to build uh, walls of protection in case somebody wants to, uh, you know, eliminate you. All right, so good. I got a little bit of wood. That's good to have. And some people I've heard say, you never can have enough building material. Uh, well, we're at it. You see the clouds up there, and then you see the blue sky. That means we're in the eye of the storm. The other objective we need to do is stay within the eye of the storm, because there are two things we're going to get you. Either one of the other players is going to get you, or the storm is going to get you if you aren't careful. If, so that's what we need to do. So in the meanwhile, uh, meantime, let's get going here and start uh, collecting uh, some uh, 
some materials we're going to need. So one thing we're going to need is uh, is a weapon. We need weapons and we need ammo. Uh, so I've got to find a place where maybe there is going to be a little bit of weapon. And uh, I'm looking now down there and it looks like we might be uh, near a farmhouse here. Now we can build uh, maybe a stairway here and uh, in that way we can you know we can uh, uh, build that and that way at least it's going to give us uh, well it's going to give us some protection anyway in case someone wants to go after us but I think we still need to go a little bit farther to uh, uh, to get our uh, to get our uh, ammunition right so let's get uh, let's get going get uh, our uh, axe out because we're going to be uh, using that to get our building material. Annie, going back to Lisa, she uh, she did the study and she found some interesting things. So uh, let's let's take a listen to that. I could not believe how many said, "Oh well, I I join every night to go to sleep," and I'm like, "What?" Like, I would never think that you ever, you know, you're you seem conservative or you never. Oh my goodness, what happened? We just got eliminated by Mods Z46, M O T Z46, just eliminated us. We didn't last long. Oh, that's too bad. But listen, we got to hear a little bit from Lisa. And, you know, the other thing that I found interesting uh, is that uh, because I wondered if maybe there would be uh, the results of her study wouldn't, would show poorly on baby uh, that they're just all potheads. And, well, it lacks a daisy goal or, you know, all the negative connotations of what someone thinks a pothead is. And um, I found it to be exact opposite. Yeah, okay, I think that's great information. And uh, what we're watching right now is we're watching the is, oh, uh, looked like they got eliminated. No, they're still okay. So that's what we're doing right now. You can't win them all. Fun of it. And uh, the, finally, you know, the other thing about Lisa was that uh, uh, of, of some of her findings, her personally, and the results of her findings. And the boomers just really didn't care whether somebody, you know, found out if they were using, you know, cannabis for their health reasons or for recreational use. And I mean, isn't that interesting? I, it's a good study. It's a good interview. It's a good show. You can find it over there at Bloomer Boomer. I'd love for you to go over and check that out. We're going to be doing these every week. Some are going to be live. Some will be like this. We're uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, so you can find us there and also at BloomerBoomer.com. And in the meantime, <laughs> Marmalade. <laughs>